Hello everyone, welcome back. It's late July of 2023 and I thought I'd do a video about our pawpaws, kind of give you an update. So this is the sunflower pawpaw, which has really, really grown this year. Um, I think I mentioned in one of our other videos, but we had a, a late freeze in May and so that really um, did a number on these trees. It looked like a blowtorch was taken to them. But we have fruit buds for next year, but in terms of this year, um, the trees had to leaf out again from scratch, and so they dropped all their flowers, which were also pretty much killed in that freeze. It was like 26 degrees overnight in mid-May, so um, that's a leaf bud there. So I'll make a video differentiating the two, but essentially the leaf buds are kind of long and skinny, and fruit buds are kind of fat and round, so they're pretty easy to distinguish once you see them. But this was purchased from Starks in 2017 our very first summer here it was just in a four inch pot and it was just a little maybe like 12 inch um, seedling well grafted to a seedling um, and it's really grown it grew fast the first year or two it just kind of hung out but as you can see it's certainly put on some serious growth i bet this tree is pushing 10 feet tall at this point um, here's a picture of the, or a view of the trunk. You can see where that damage there. The first year we had it, or maybe it was the second year, um, it got pushed over before we had our fence with a snow plow, pushed the snow bank on top of it and bent it right over horizontal. So, you know, I, I went out there and dug it out of the ice and stood it up and it healed over and it's obviously done well because that's when it was a very young tree. So um, it'll heal up around that and probably encapsulate that at some point. Here's our other area of um, pawpaws. This is four that are planted together. Now, someone mentioned in one of the other videos, and I think it's true, that they're probably planted a touch close together, but um, it was also sort of done to be a privacy break too, and so they'll end up being just like one giant pawpaw bush with four varieties, so there is that. But they look really cool. I mean, they're, they're a neat plant. If you haven't planted pawpaws, they have a great look to them, a very sort of tropical foliage. This is Overlease here. Um, this one has never fruited yet, but it's really put on growth this year. Um, if you plant pawpaws, the first couple of years, they're not gonna do much. They're just gonna sit there, and then third or fourth and fifth year is when they just grow like three feet in one year. It's crazy. Um, and as you can see, there's some flower buds there for next year on this Overlease, and those are leaf buds there. So that's how you tell the difference. But it, that thing is really bushed out this year. It's probably double the size it was just last year at this time. So they establish their roots, get their roots down in there, and then they just grow like crazy. This is the Shenandoah that gave us fruit the last few years. Um, this year, so the plus side of them not putting on any fruit is they'll put all that energy into growing and getting bigger, and that's what they're doing this year. They're just really putting on some serious growth. Um, this is NC1 which is probably pushing eight feet tall now, seven feet at least. Um, this has had flower buds the last couple of years, but the, the frost killed them this year. But look at those for next year. They're really fat. Um, this tree is probably going to get some fruit next year if all goes well climate-wise. But a beautiful tree. Um, these aren't pruned or anything. They're just growing naturally. So they all seem to have different shapes. Um, I pruned this one. This is the one exception. This is Allegheny. Um, I think the graft may have died a couple years ago. It's hard to tell, but look at the size of the leaves on this thing. It's growing like crazy. Um, this one actually, if you compare it, this is the one right next to it, the NC1, so it, you can kind of tell how much bigger those leaves are. They're just massive leaves. So I'm, it's hard to tell if the graft died or not a couple years ago. It's growing like crazy, but either way, I mean, I'm, it, it's going to be a good pawpaw tree. I will say that that... Um, Allegheny with the big leaves didn't leaf out until really really late like mid-June I thought it was dead so I went and I did some pruning on it um, just kind of cut it back some and as soon as I did that it just went berserk and leafed out so could be coincidence um, but it I don't think so because I think there was some dead wood in the top from that hard freeze we had but as you can see, it looks happy now. Um, no fruit buds on it yet. There's where I pruned some dead wood there in June also there, there was really no leaves on it until I did that. And as soon as I did that, it just leafed right out. So um, the other thing that's cool about pawpaw, as you can see in all these, their growth tips tend to be three leaves. And so three leaves. So that they'll do like a one, two, three kind of thing at the end of the bush. But there's a picture of our pawpaw patch area with the four. 
good for pollination that they're so close together, I think, at least. Then we'll take a walk to our other pawpaws that we have um, in the back area. And so these were, and there's our friend the rabbit, and I put friend in quotes. Anyone who has a garden knows that. Um, they can be a real menace. Luckily, they don't hurt the pawpaw trees. This is Taytu, which was a seedling. And we got this one and the one next to it at the same day, or on the same day at the, at the festival years ago, the pawpaw festival. Um, they were just seedlings, so they're not grafted, but this is a Taytu seedling, meaning the, f the seed came from a Taytu fruit. The leaves look really cool, almost like bluish green. Um, that one, this year, is the first year it really put on any growth. The last two years, it's just kind of been sitting there, not doing anything. And this one is mango. This one's probably six feet tall at least, maybe almost seven feet tall at this point. This one's grown a lot faster, so it definitely has that mango genetics, uh, mango pawpaw, that is, um, because that variety is known to grow very quickly. As you can see, though, no fruit buds, just leaf buds, but that trunk is starting to become a real trunk on this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, you just get my hand around it. The other day, actually, when it was really hot, I, actually, I sat in the shade of this one, which is kind of fun to sit in the shade of your pawpaw trees, especially when you planted them as tiny little seedlings like these guys were. They were just like in a, like I mentioned, in a four-inch pot. When they were like six dollars a piece they look like a little stick in the dirt and now they're growing like crazy and these were moved a couple of times previous to that too before they finally settled on this spot they've probably been in this spot for three years now in a row and so before then they had moved around a couple times you certainly can move them when they're small i wouldn't move them when they're this size though but yeah that tree's coming along really really well What's really nice too is you saw the video, probably if you're watching this, of the um, trees that we removed, those big pine trees being gone makes a huge difference in terms of um, not having to worry about anything falling on top of these as soon as they get nice and big. So I'm sitting in the pawpaw patch on the ground, such a cool feeling. Um, you know, when you plant trees, it's certainly a long-term thing, but when they start to look like something, it's pretty cool. Um, and then the, the coolest thing is once they start getting fruit and getting bigger, it should only be more and more each year from there. Other than this year when we had that freak freeze, um, but that's going to happen. So if, if you were in that position where your fruit trees hit, were hit with that freeze, just know that they'll just put all their energy into growing this year, and the next year you'll probably have even more fruit. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.